Well, hello there. For those of you who recognize my voice, my name is Brian. Or as I sometimes go on the interwebs, Crossforge, or sometimes Tear, depending on who I'm talking to. And today I'm going to show you my Spectacle Island beach house that I built in Fallout 4. Now, for some of you who aren't familiar with that title, it's a post-apocalyptic video game. Uh, so, think of this as kind of a Barbie's Malibu beach house with more rust, radiation, and guns. Now, as to why I'm doing this video, as there are many, many videos like this out here, um, well, I put this a lot of time and effort in building this, and I thought I'd record about something about it for posterity and share it with you folks, some of you folks that I know. And probably quite a few since I'm posting this publicly. And if you're one of those people I don't know, that's okay. I'm happy to bring you along for the ride as well. Now, this is my character, Victoria. Uh, and since this is a beast house, she's sporting some beach attire. Now, for some of you who've played Fallout 4, you might notice that she's been modded quite a bit. In fact, that's, I believe that's Witcher character, from a Witcher character, or Witcher 3 character, but that's okay. I like the hair. Looks cool on her. Uh, anyway, I've never been happy with uh, Bethesda's character options, so I decided to use mods in that regard. But... That said, uh, everything I constructed in this beach house is a vanilla asset for the game. And the DLC is currently out, so regardless of which platform you're playing on this game on, you too can build something similar to this. All you need is some time and patience. Now before I get into the beach house itself, I think I should spend some time to talking about the island. Um, now, Spectacle Island, for those of you who aren't familiar, is off the coast of Boston. Uh, the only way to get there is to swim for it, so best come compared if you plan to go by there by yourself. Preferably with the Aqua Girl or Aqua Boy perk, or uh, some power armor with radiation resistance. Uh, also, prior to the visit island, it's inhabited by high-level Mirelurks, including a Mirelurk Queen. So keep that in mind, and come heavily armed if you want to do this yourself. Now, once you clear the island, it can become a settlement. I had spent some time watching this show on HTV called uh, Island Hunters, about people who had enough money to spend on impractical crap like their own private island and basically house hunting for an island. And, well, when I explored this sizable deserted island, I immediately thought, private island and beach house. I mean, I don't know if I have any days to buy an island in real life, but video games, that's another story. All right, I've rambled and enough, so let's start the tour. Now, over here to Vicky's left, you can see a cage. Um, this is the gorilla cage. It lets you catch gorillas to use watchdog as watchdogs to defend your settlement. And, uh, now this was introduced in the recent Raceland Workshop DLC. Uh, for those of you who would like to know how to get your own gorillas, uh, Maddie of uh, Maddie Plays has an excellent video on how to uh, do this, which I will link to in the description. Uh, I have a gorilla running around here someplace, but it's a big island, so um, you probably won't see him as of yet, but he's out there, I swear. Uh, now, this island hasn't actually been attacked yet, but hey, you know, gorilla watchdogs. Okay, continuing on the tour, and more on uh, Vicky's right, you can see this ruined BNB and and this barn on Vicky's... Well, this is Vicky's right, and this is Vicky's right. Derp. Uh, <laughs> okay, so, uh, here's the ruined b and It's pretty much, as it looks, a complete shithole. Um, and, as I recall, I had to... There was a dead body near here that I had to use console mans to get rid of. Because rocks and corpses don't do prop property value. You know, favors, you know. 
I hope that Bethesda's upcoming DLC will give us at least one workshop caravan link settlement that doesn't require tetanus shots. Uh, I know there's a mod out there that restores this BNB, but I'm hesitant to use mods that alter the environment this early in the game. So, uh, but nevertheless, I was able to make some use of this. Uh, going in this way, you can see that I actually found a nice place to store my fusion generator. Um, now that's another item that's been added to the Wasteland Workshop DLC. It's kind of, it's, runs quieter, it's cleaner theoretically, and it, and most importantly, it produces a lot more power than a conventional generator. See, if I pull up the workshop right here, uh, go to power, you'll see that these are all the conventional generators that come with the core game. And this general genera fusion generator produces 100, whereas the biggest generator you can get in the core game only produces 10, so electricity. So it's a pretty nice addition to the DLC. Um, you may also notice I've d decided to defend it with several laser turrets. Again, this place hasn't really been attacked, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Now, let's go over to the barn. Um, you can see some more turrets here. These are machine gun turrets. And uh, I think originally the uh, armor um, workshop was on, or power armor workshop was actually in this barn. But I decided to move that and instead um, put in the robot workshop is what better place to work on a, uh, uh, robots than in a barn. And uh, this is from the uh, uh, Automatron DLC. And, uh, I can use that to build, build various robots. And uh, I believe I moved the armor station over here. Yeah, right in here. I don't know if that's a good place to put that or not. Seems to work. Okay, and over here is a bell that I can ring to summon the people that live here. Uh, maybe I can summon that monkey. Let's see. Let's see who comes. And still waiting. Still in fact, I think I'm going to pause this and wait for somebody to show up so you guys don't have to sit here and wait with me. Alright, be right back.